up quickly. Uh, settings. Oh, I'm just fixing some stuff up. Audio, display, comment to speech. I like that. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. I think it's working now. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, hold on, just give a couple minutes. As I see, God, there's a lot of chatter in the background. So make sure the settings are correct. If I just make sure I have no clue what I'm doing. Uh, what am I doing? Someone explain. Swear down on Nicholas McCorrell. Pow, pow, the puggle guy. Oh, God, is that Kai? Is that you, Kai? <coughs> is he the Kai or Ned? It's Pow Pow. Paddy, Paddy. What are you, French? Um. Well, I'm just gonna wait for some, like maybe the other guys. Might be like two hours of Stanley stream maybe today. Never know. You never know. Might might be a bit cheeky to a bit of two hour stream. Perhaps. Maybe if you're lucky. Nedalus McCorrell is on the stream. How is he on the stream? It already says Oh wait, is two people watching? Kai is peg okay. Right. Well, um, is Doug gonna join? Ah, Jesus, ow. I might not watch because I haven't played this before and I wanna watch. But Aww. then Nedaru on the stream. Damn it, anyway. Never the end is never the end is never the end. We'll just, you know, play it like a very long time later so you forget everything you have to do. Like, I think I've seen Mark play, play it, maybe? But I have no idea what i got to do. I actually completely and utterly forgot everything. All I know is something about a bucket. It's a very, very precious bucket. Ooh, ooh, this game does look nice. That it will, is me. Will. Oh my god, who is that? Really? What am I doing? Go on to the show. Hotel California. <laughs> hey. <coughs> I don't know who you are, Gorn, but hello. And hey, hello, Roy, I knows you, but. And so we got Roy, Kai, and Gorn. Uh, what am I? Oh, I'm no. supposed to. Bucket, bucket, bouquet, bubker, gubka, vkrkr, bukta, vkrkr. That's Ned laughing. I didn't even see the message. All of his co workers oh, are well, gone. I forgot what about the narrator. Oh. oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the trophy? What trophy? Click a door five times. Is that all you think a trophy is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little. He's effort. already I'm angry at me. Clicks. Oh. Now suppose you were to click the door Long 20 times, Ned. I would say Narrator. that's the kind of effort yes. that warrants recognition. Yippee. Hmm, I have to say I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly. No. 
Guys, it's it's content. We're gonna we're gonna annoy the narrative. Oh fuck it out. He's gonna actually make me click up fifty times this city. No 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 no. I'm <laughs> still not feeling it. I want this trophy to have meant something. Oh and no. Reward is this an actual death. trophy? I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment. <laughs> a willingness to go all the way in a matter of Why don't you go put twenty clicks into door number four one seven? Where's four one seven? Okay, I'm gonna go find some four one seven. Narrator from getting over it. Oh god, it does actually. Uh, not better. Uh, better thirty, forty. I don't know. Oh, I can crouch. Oh my god, four twenty. We gotta click on the door. I I wanna annoy him. No. Well, okay, where's four? Where's 421? So if that's 4... It's 420. Is 421 in there? No, maybe it's like... Okay, maybe... 420 is... So that's 417. So, so for 17... 16... <coughs> where's 18 and 19 and 20? 420, let's go. Where is um the door that he wants me to click on? Does anyone know where it is? Help. Oh, he's gonna actually make me look at it. What have I already messed up? Zero. Eh oh god, not fifteen. When Stanley came to no, a no, set no. of two no, open no, no, doors, no, no, no. No, you the bitch. door on his left. Wait, door on my left. So this door or oh, it mm. Do I listen to the narrator? Because I know he gets mad if I don't. So, Roy, how's your day been? Do I... Do I what? Or do I what? Or do I just... Do I just go stand in the corner? Can I crouch? Oh! <gasps> when you click, it makes a tappy noise, like if you're on a keyboard. Your mm. mum... Is... My... Bitch. So I was just tweeting. Um, fuck. I don't know which door, guys. Which should I go to the right or to the left? I'll see what you guys think. <coughs> Sorry. Left. Okay. Oh shit. Fred. I went off the yeah. first. No, right. no, let me back. I don't want to go here. Right, this is the majority right, fight. I should have waited. Ah, oh, sorry. I, I too late. Uh, I want to find that door he told me to knock on. But okay, four one two. Wait, no, is it a four? I don't remember what number he told me to click on. I think it might have been 421, but I don't know. It might have been 421. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Um, I want to just annoy him. Eh. Oh, I know this. <laughs> Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but then <coughs> <was there. coughs> turned around and got back on track. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, can we not, eight, nine, can, zero, can we not one, spam zero, one, numbers, one, two, please? One, two, three, there was nothing one, four, here. One, five, no choice one, to make, one, seven, no path one, eight, to follow. One, nine, Just can we go, empty one, two, Okay. No reason to stay here. the rest. Can you actually not? He told you to click on. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. Uh, he wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact once. with, he'd be yeah, just. Yeah, well, can we not do numbers? Because I actually He's can't see the rest of it. Annoying. Doing sweet fa. Doing sweet. Fuck yes. all, mate. What if I just fuck this broom? Are you? Are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? <laughs> Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. MM numbers. 
God damn it, Stanley. <laughs> God damn it, Stanley. You don't realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, God, he's so I'm annoying. Sure would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally Brown this closet is of absolutely no significance to the whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention. Because Stanley's stupid, he's not stupid. Though. Look at this duct tape, though. You know what I could do with that? Many, many illegal Maybe things. This is Maybe when you go talk to this with your friend or say, Oh, <sighs> did you get the broom closet ending? The broom okay. closet ending was my favorite. Did you just go fucking make you fun of me? I called you stupid. Oh. Tape. Duck tap? Duck tape. Duck tape. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably uh, got the job because of a family connection. That's how uh, stupid he is. That old drug man. Me. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Uh, sounds like a good life, to be honest. Oh, you thought? Ah, uh, psych. What if I just... Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on. <coughs> You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here. When a physical oh, I can't. The door's closed. Sort, shut down your that. central nervous system and you are now in front of your screen. Like well, in a situation Stanley like this, stupid. the responsible Damn. thing is to alert someone nearby so as Damn, to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. I don't like him. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they yeah. understand basic first-person video game mechanics. Oh my God! This guy is fucking talks. In video gaming, so that the irony Your mom. and insightful commentary of Your this mom. game is not lost on them. All right. When you've done that, just step out God into the damn hallway. It, Ah, second player. <coughs> I had you on board. I, you too. Unbelievable. I'm at the I wonder if it's actually a safe thing. Species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby. You can hand the controls to. A fish, fungus. Look, you can hammer out the details <coughs> in particular, Picky. I'll just be waiting for when you get to play the story again. Oh wait, but so I'm. Wait, hold on. Maybe. I actually think this might be the end of it. Actually, stream dislike in YouTube. No, don't. Dislike. Don't Your dislike. Wait, no, dislikes don't show out of uh, the fucking. Hey, but Kai, Kai. I mean, Ned. Look in the description, it says Kai is the best ever. You wouldn't want to dislike a video that says that, would you? Fine, fine. What? You thought? You thought? No, let's get one for like committing. Ah, shit. Coming to a staircase, Stanley <coughs> walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, now upstairs or downstairs? Downstairs looks red. Upstairs looks boring. Dune. Where'd he go? Down. Down. Okay, well this is going to be democ democracy, so we're going to go see. Uh, oh, we got to up and down. What does Kai say? Down. Up. Down. Don't spam. Up. Up. Oh. Kai is gone. Oh. Dead. I I might I might go up. Might go up. I might go up. Mm, going up. Mm, I going up. Down first. Uh, it's, well, hold on. I was supposed to see something. Give me a second. I just will see. So, so last time. Oh no, it was Kai. Oh no. Ah, uh, oh god. Oh, fine. I'll go down. Then I'll go up and get way hard. Oh, uh, but red looks so more much. Oh, uh, it looks so much. It looks so much more inviting down here. But Stanley just couldn't do it. 
he considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post. <coughs> he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken Through that the risk? Content. All because he believed Fair. everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, <coughs> maybe I am crazy. Wait a second, wait a All second. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a forward. single moment for no reason at all. Ah, <coughs> oh, we have six down comments. And as Stanley Fair. pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. So I think, I think this might be impotent. Why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms Keep were going. starting to look pretty familiar. Were they I am. simply repeating? Try to score forever. Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion Keep that had going. been on the tip of his tongue. He just <sighs> hadn't found the words for it. I'm yeah. dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt. What the fuck? Finally found an, answer, is weird. an explanation. His co workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't going to lose his job. go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. This is getting a little creepy. He imagined himself flying and began to gently fly around. Oh, wait, 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 himself soaring through space on a magical star field. It no, was no, no. so much fun. And no, what's, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this. I don't like this, I don't like it. Lucid. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? I don't know. Now the voice was describing itself being oh, by Stanley, like who found it particularly <coughs> I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's taller? describing my Oh, I don't know. This is getting... Oh, God. And this is giving my brain. Very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. <coughs> now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. I'm very confused. All, he knew for I don't like it. I don't like it. This was, in fact, a dream. Oh, my the voice eyes. Did him flow to make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? Yeah. This voice was a part of himself, too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself. No, 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 I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to. The cool weight of the blanket on his skin. Ah, oh, God. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please help. It's all I want. I try to get through the doors as and my wife. I have a wife. My job. I have a job. All I want well, yeah, is my done. life exactly the way. No, it's no, I don't want it. My no, I don't want it. Tap. Normal. I am normal. I, oh, Everything come on. Will be fine. Oh, that's what I think run, of every day run, when I wake I up. Am. Run, run, run. Okay. <coughs> Ha, ah, okay. <coughs> Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name oh, is God, Stanley. Oh, God, what the I fuck? I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Oh, no, 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 no. You dare not do this to me. This is the story of a woman <coughs> named Mariella. Wait, I'm a woman. I have tits. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, <coughs> her work was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Oh, I'm dead. She would soon turn to go call for an ambulance. 
for just a few brief moments, he confronted the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. What? Everyone knows what crazy people look like. Hey, I'm not and crazy. In that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real. I really don't like this. It was Sammy comforting to think this, and, and in a certain way, seeing <laughs> this would make her feel better. One ending. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood staring <coughs> down at the body. Sorry, I thought you saw. And then she turned and ran. Well, okay, that's just rude. I'm dead and you don't even care, bitch. I want to have tips. Not really. Like a pair, but I don't want them on me. Well, I do want them on. I'm not sure I stop with this bit and continue. Uh, it's never the end, it's never the end, it's never the end. Loading never. Or do. I should say. Oh. Whoop. Oh. What's it? Okay, I don't know. I'm back. I can hit the door. Okay, All tell me where the door is. What Fuck off, mean? shut up, shut up. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memory. Where's the door? I need 21. I think his head might be where 21 is. No. Where's 21? Hello? On. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Fine. Dick. What if I tap this, please? Help me. Where's door 21? Four three zero. I think it's I think it's twenty one. There's gotta be one of these doors open up. Surely. Surely. <coughs> Surely. No way. No, I don't believe it. Right, give me two seconds. Just checking something. Okay. Uh, yeah. but. Oh. Okay, um, surely. Surely one of these doors has got to open. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. Oh, turn it off. Because they have a power in it. Well, if I just went back to my office. Stanley clicked on literally every single door in the office because he <coughs> picked up well on cues from his environment. It's never really saying things to lots of things, so I don't like it. Leave back in my office. Oh, I'm jamming the door. Fine, fine, fine. Has Ned just left us, Roy? That's okay, we didn't need him anyway. Fucking arsehole. We'll go. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. Whoever he says. The door on which door should I go on? Whoever says it first, I do. Yes. Uh, right or left? Hmm. I wonder if I could just like break the game. Which door? So I go left again, they go up. How's one crouch over oh, there? I guess I'll go do this. It is just me. Oh. Hello Roy. Ned has left us. 
I'll go up this time. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Not at all. <coughs> I won't with this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient. Shut Coming up. to a staircase, Shut Stanley up. walked upstairs up. to his boss's office. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, it's red up here. Is this the boss's office? Oh no, it's not. Where's my mirror? Oh, I'd rather have a reflection. Well, all right. Now. Is this the way to the boss's office? Ooh. Very white pieces of paper. Where I went up. So I've heard this before somewhere. Oh no, I'm a vampire. Oh, is he singing? Okay, I don't want to be in here because I don't know how long you have to be in here. That didn't make sense. So I went you up. Still. You sick still? Um, I'm not really sick. I haven't Stanley been for a couple of days. Oh, hold Stanley on. This guy's again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. <laughs> Could have never known this. But uh, yeah, so sat around twiddling his thumbs, trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was too. But um, yeah, Roy, I'm not sick. I'm just like, well, I was sick for a bit, but my throat's just irritated. Two, eight, four, five. Fine. Two, eight, four, six. Six, nine, six, nine. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in. No, and no, no, the no. door just opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. Fine, hold on, wait. Two. For no shit, I did it wrong. I'm actually going to do the pin now. Two. No, I didn't mean to zero. Oh my god, hold on. I know this is taking time. Oh, 2022. Oh, that was a mistake. Fuck it. That's annoying me. Fine. Where am I? Oh, well, that's pretty obvious. I need to go. Oh, this doesn't look ominous and scary. Ooh, button. Oh, the music. Loading, 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 loading. Um. How's Descending your day? Building, what have you done today? Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go uh, unanswered for long. Uh, shut up. The fuck? What is... Edge? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. 
That reads escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. <laughs> no, I don't actually believe in death. I mean, I have, I've never saw. Oh shit! It's supposed to escape. No, I'm pretty sure I don't end up at the back at the beginning again. I will die. Oh shit! All right. Oh, I can't move. No, 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 no. As the machine whirred into motion, sorry, sorry, sorry. Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. He reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps oh, no. his death was of no Please. loss. Please. Like Please. the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent no, 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 I don't accept it. brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. No, I don't accept it. No, don't accept it. Can't kill me. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Ooh. Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous YouTube. metal jaws. In a single That's visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in no. his body. Killing him instantly. Ah. Huh? Huh? Box? Alright, I guess I'll get out of here. The Stanley Parable! Whee! And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, <coughs> death what the becomes fuck? meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Any special doors? No? Okay. That looks like an office I've uh, been at. Oh, door. What? No, that's one. That's three. That's two. That's one. The office? This is weird. Oh, buttons. Hey. That's weird. I like buttons. Um. Wait, wait, go back. Oh, that one. Turn it back on. Aww. <coughs> da -da -da -da. Oh, there's two ways I can go, I think. My nose is itchy. Oh, that way has a... Is this a show sick of this game? What? That's trippy. What is... What is... I want to lick barbed wire. I would highly recommend against it, but you know, kind of want to do it. Well, let's chill. The rock, mate. All right, I'm scared. I want to go back to normal. Oh, is that cake? What is that? Oh no, it's a fart. Um. <laughs> that's, that's a little weird. I won't lie, but also how do I get out of here now? I don't like it. I don't like this. Chrissy wake up. Oh, buttoned. Fine. 
It's the only parable that way. Should I go that way? What's this? Sorry, what? What? Countdown desk. I'm confused. Okay, there's buttons. But I go there if I can click it. Fuck it, fine. <laughs> Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. <coughs> oh, fun. Oh my god, I want to click it, I want to click it, I want to click it, I want to click it. No, you didn't let me click it. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, what do I need? Perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. This is the voice. I'm actually Listen cool. To me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Turn off your PlayStation. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true no, choice. No, no, fuck you. Don't choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let... Oh. Ow. No, I, I couldn't. I was streaming. Sorry. What a funny lady! What a funny, funny, funny little lady! Um. Oh. Okay. Oh, and I have to go run through here. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Right, I feel like this game's gonna have a to lot of repetitive Perhaps stuff in it, huh? Mr. Memo. Uh, uh, shut up, this fucking narrator. Say a name for him. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, yes. he entered the door on his left. Yes. Yes. Shut up, narrator. Yet there was not a single person here either. Shut up. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. You son of a bitch! Fucking hate the narrator. Coming to a staircase. Yes, Stanley yes, 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 yes. To his boss's office. I hate this guy. Two endings. Did I just walk up the stairs or don't? I don't know. I looked away for two seconds and wha! Two ending. Oh yeah, I, I kind of under. I kind of like knew there's gonna be multiple, but Stepping holy shit! His manager's office. Stanley <coughs> was stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just <laughs> let the narrator talk. <laughs> That kind of anxiety that is isn't healthy. He relaxed for it. a few moments with yes. some calming some new comments. age music. It is just me. Yeah. You sit still. No, it can't be. Just been watching you too. Two ending. Well, they are, I think. Wait. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated. Uh, Stand up. Oh, I need to. I've had settings. I'm actually going to turn speech to talk off because it's uh, fucking up things. Oh, there we go. Into the, the game. Passageway. <coughs> well, if I just like try to do things without letting him talk again, do you think he'll get mad? Go 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 keep go 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 keep going going going. Do you ever just never give him a second to breathe? Loading, loading, loading. Oh, so for, sorry for anyone who's actually watching this outside of stream. Stanley walks straight ahead through the large ba, ba, door. Ba, ba, of the ba, red yep, 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 I'm going to click the button without him saying anything. There is a big button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible <coughs> secret did this place hold? Oh, I got my first trophy. Let's go. Did he have the strength to find out? I didn't realize there's a path here. I want to get through this as quick as possible. Let me up is what you see. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. This looks like a door. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. 
the lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Uh, 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 click a button. This I mind don't care. Facility. It was too horrible I don't care. to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated oh, to accept it blindly? I manipulate me, I don't care. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't Wait, really? accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. I mean, I could accept it. Wasn't it? Might be a bit hot, though. Had he Jokes. truly spent Please his entire don't. life utterly blind yeah, to the okay. world? Shut up, narrator. You talk too much. The heart of the operation. Clicking buttons. Controls labeled yeah, buttons. with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Power facility. Walking, eating, facility power. Walking. Fuck them. All have been monitored and Five. from this very. Place. I'm gonna ignore all those and buttons. As the cold reality of his past began to sink in. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human. No, you did. No, I, yes, you you did. No, I didn't. You, no, you did. What? That was that supposed to let him talk? No, radar, I did it. Blackness. Uh, and a rising chill of uncertainty. Shut up. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled <coughs> himself <coughs> from someone else's command. I mean, Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What I don't care, really. This strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized <laughs> that none of this mattered to him. Thank you. Or it was not knowledge or even power. Who you meet, Loaf? I just got TV. But happiness. Wah. Perhaps Wait a second. Had not been to understand it's like dog, but you're a cat. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do. Or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, <laughs> so no, is um, is Dom on your account? To know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt Dom, the cool I'm breeze you, upon Dom? his skin. The feeling of <laughs> the immense possibility of the uh, past. That's funny. Him. Chat's funny right now. This was exactly By chiming the way Roy right and now, uh, someone on Roy's account is now just arguing with him. Stanley uh, no, I wasn't. This is a lie. Let me out. I don't care. Because it already talks too much. <coughs> there you go. I beat the game. End is never the end. It's never the end. It's never the end. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> mm. Mm. This is stupid and kind of dumb. All of Where do I gone. go? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the party room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Dad, I thought he but don't listen to him. Fine. <coughs> I don't want to listen to this. Three ending. When Stanley came to assess, oh, you mark out the ending. This I got not it. the correct way to the meeting room. <sighs> he knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <coughs> Feels like there's a hair in my throat. <coughs> Sorry. Oh my god! Can I open any doors in this game? Kind of cringe, gay. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Look, my first open door. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. 
Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've oh, got shit! Him off, but in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, <laughs> Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. <coughs> Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Yay! Oh, I actually just killed myself, did I? I would say my bad. Please say I don't have to run through that again. Oh, brother, this guy. Uh, this game's going to be so tedious. Ah, <coughs> uh, for 20 blazes, brother. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was mm, not the correct no. way to the meeting room, and Stanley Shut knew up. perfectly well. Shut up! Perhaps he Shut up! To stop Shut, by the Shut up! Lounge first, Shut up! Just to you admire suck. it. Suck your wow. mum. Yes, this room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> Do not jump on. Oh. Hello? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. <coughs> I don't There's want someone to be that you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. You don't know her. This is it, Stanley. Your She's a person to realize, yourself, but she doesn't even your know. Work aside to let her back into your life. Hey. She's been waiting. Ah, ah, help. No, no, no. I don't know where I am. Help. Oh, fuck. That's nah. her, Stanley. Nah, I don't you need it. to be the one to do this. Oh no 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 oh. no you could Did you just unplug the <laughs> That wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually I didn't like... chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. <laughs> no, it's definitely here. <laughs> Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. <laughs> I don't have a wife. I have really credits. Not no one, up the phone unfortunately. Is an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None um, of these decisions were I've been trying not anything. to listen to you. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. Why did I not notice it <sighs> sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. Oh. Uh. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and correct choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so no, 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 long. No, no, please, I'll if plug it back in. If you any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity yeah, of the situation? Well, I won't why have that so kind of on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the <coughs> real world. Please Fuck sake. this helpful instructional video. Where? Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. No, I'm looking but away. It... Uh... Can I do anything? What if I just... What if I was just to turn the music all the way down? Used incorrectly can also be the most dangerous. <laughs> For example... In this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert well, has a choice. You say for I guess I jumped a machine off. that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. <coughs> or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational <coughs> logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow what? the person to finish their thought, <laughs> then provide an excuse why you cannot oh, continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, 
My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a bad second <coughs> crack. I, I'm... Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm horny. Excellent. Fuck. Making choices on a regular basis. <laughs> the what the fuck happened there? Making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember. That in the vast infinite of space, <coughs> your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your no. instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. <coughs> what the fuck? Ah, welcome back. The you may have fuck? noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Hi. Oh, he's going to want me to go back there. I'm not going to go back. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform <coughs> and dying. <coughs> no, 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 please. The main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you well, back as soon as possible there. before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. How do I t how do I not listen to him? How do I not listen to him? Help! 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 Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. Everyone's <coughs> choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow the <coughs> and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> no! Wee. Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Okay, 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 okay. I'll go the other door. I'll go the other door. Oh, no. I... Oh, shit. Okay, I can't. Fuck. We are one person now. Oh, no. damn. Fine, fine. Oh, ruined. <coughs> you, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story, you've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out <coughs> of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now correct? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What Let do me I... continue. No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. <coughs> no, you don't. I have to. No, you don't. No, no, please, please, please. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Please. Oh, ah. Please, I'm sorry. I'm still here. Here 
this pile of rubbish. With you. You. <sighs> I thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. <coughs> I'm sorry. The thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. Oh well, what, hi. Did you think that would be funny? Dumb. You just had to see. This guy is very upon bad. You how important it was to be like Stanley. He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. Oh, Actually, shut it the fuck you, up, it, huh? That there's a world outside of you. Your well, there's not. Hey. Oh. What's your turn? My story. <coughs> you could have just fixed gone it. the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked oh, so hard on shut it. Shut up. I tried so hard to make... ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the <coughs> first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead. <coughs> <and> follow <coughs> Sorry. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door. Bro, why on his is left. he trying? Why is he trying? No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Oh God! Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing <laughs> responsibly and uh, always yeah. playing the story yeah, first. Yeah, you know what I'm, I'm quite doing. Sure you'll be up to the task. Just I don't know how to. You'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. <coughs> that means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be I able to do this. I wonder if this is actually Just ending. Follow my lead and you'll we'll try it one more time. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, <coughs> he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Okay. It's okay. exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, <coughs> he entered the door on his left. All right, fine, fine. I think it's still broken. Fuck. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Let me in! You're a bitch, that's what I say. Coming uh. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stop making me game. Oh, this is not going to be any free will, is it? You. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to oh, his questions. Shut up. And beyond all probability, <coughs> he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Shock breath. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night shark. Hello, right? He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Night shark 115. Please. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. 
Fuck you. Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley I just rolled my eyes up the narrator. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... When Stan ah. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No, he didn't. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Stanley? Okay. Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Oh, this is sad. Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. Dad. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, it's sad. It's more important than you can ever know. I know this. The student. <coughs> so, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. No! Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best. <laughs> That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. No! As much time as you need. No! Aw, that saddens me. Oh, my throat, bro. <laughs> All right, well, um, but his yeah. co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, I think there's only like the one more option um, for what I could choose. It's to not shut down the power, I think. Yet there was not a single. Well, how am I a sad either. meat human? Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Okay, thanks. You're making my life easy. That was actually like... Gonna just like take time. Oh, that is good. Oh, okay. But you know... It's actually you just kind of skips that little bit of keyboard for me. Thank you, Narrator. <sighs> oh, about to get a little tired. That's okay, we could do this last, I think, maybe last episode. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that was <coughs> a ground control facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this oh place God. hold? Oh, my Stanley thought to himself. Uh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. To find out. Huh? Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Mm -hmm. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images oh, no, on the screen. You can see. Is that it's blood? Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place Sus. where freedom meant nothing. What is that one? Fired? 
weird. Ah. Uh. A weird place, isn't it? Was it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept uh, hurry it up. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire Sorry. life utterly blind uh, to shut the Shut up, world? narrator. You look tired. Ah, uh, yes, go through here. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Got Controls out here. labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to settle, <coughs> Stanley decided that this machinery... Oh, Stanley, you didn't just take <coughs> the controls, did you? I did, I did, I did. All these what years, I doing? you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself, is that Yeah, what I want to be in control. Control? Oh, okay. Oh, Loading Stanley. my control system, okay. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed um, to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. <laughs> I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do, for example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation so it's like a, system. Oh, there's a screen there, the okay. Tell me how long. Without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment uh. of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. You're and evil. You free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Don't really be big fella. Times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside. Or what I mean? I have to say this though, this version of events has been rather amusing. I'm going to the stairs. To make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you. It's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My uh. goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying yeah. this so much. You know I'm what? Tired. To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds. Uh, time doesn't. I'm long tired. Long. Oh dear me, uh, boys. What's the matter, Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Yeah. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something uh, here will save me. I give up this time. That, that this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> <laughs> Stanley. Oh god. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. Oh. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. Uh, to hurry see you up. Made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. 
you wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Oh, I'm tired. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And okay. believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever after. Oh, it's just not the end. I feel like this is not going to be the end. Uh, okay. I actually might leave it off. There. Because I think that's enough for one night. But, um, I'll, like, maybe I'll stream some more tomorrow afternoon or sometime. But, uh, yeah, I'm getting tired. That was one hour or so of, um, this game. So, I hope you all enjoyed. And for anyone who's, um, watching it to this far, congrats. You're amazing. Bye.